everybody, my name is Isis Falcon Shadow, and um, this is the intro video to my channel, my new channel, my first channel, anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry, a little, a little out there. Uh, and you're gonna find on this channel uh, basically the same thing you can find on any um, witchcraft channel, so instance recipe chance, um, book reviews, stuffies, um, also maybe some not that much witchcraft related stuff, um, and also my personal thoughts and ideas on, you know, some things, uh, movie reviews, book reviews, not just medical, but, um, books that touch me or stuff like that, who knows. Uh, also, I am French, uh, come from Canada, uh, first language French, so if I go, oh my god, what's the word, perfectly normal, uh, English is my second language, and also I'm trying to keep it fluent. <coughs> Sorry, weather's a little mucky, so all the germs going in, vaping people, they're having so much fun right now. Anyway, uh, so yes, um, a little about me. It's an introduction, introduction video, so I'm going to change this myself. Um, I am a practicing witch for about 15, 14 or 15 years, something like that. Um, ow, ow, sorry. <laughs> um, um, I am a mix between Paganism, Egyptian paganism, and dark paganism. Sorry, and uh, that's pretty much me. Also, a um, couple of things, quick, quick. Oh my god! Boo! Um, <laughs> so if you see me all clad in black, the striped tights, the weird shoes, and everything, normal. Okay, that's just me. That's just me being happy. I love dressing in black. Black is my favorite color. I have stripes like uh, striped tights like a lot, and uh, it's not to be offensive. It's not to create a character or anything. That's me. If you cross me in the street, um, you're pretty much gonna look at me and go like, "Bitch," you know. Um, I like the clothes. Uh, I don't wear those much outside. I don't like the, you know, cloak jokes. <laughs> I mean, come on, half a gazillion times the, hey, you know, Halloween is over. It's funny, but kind of grows, grows old. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so no, that's really just me. And if you go on other YouTube channels, uh, you'll be able to see that. Um, not everybody wears black. And yes, I'm a god, I'm on the side. Surprise! Sorry, my cats are just chasing each other off. And I got one building right there. Uh, so, also, everything that's going to be said on this channel, it's me. It's not the Wiccan community. It's not the witch community. It's not the goth community. It's me. Just plain, simple, little me. So, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, if you don't think I'm wrong or anything, uh, please stay respectful. And um, and I'm going to stay respectful towards you. Earn respect. And, um, um, if you want to leave hateful comments or anything like that, then please go to another video. Thank you. Um, so yeah, uh, a little about myself. Um, I wasn't exactly um, Christian. I grew up in a non-religious home. Uh, my grandpa, my grandmother, took me to church a couple of times. Um, I like the whole ceremony. Um, the stained glass actually freaks me out a little because. And I hated that. I was always scared. Um, 
computer those up again. And um, at the age of 12, I was um, baptized. And uh, in the end, um, it didn't exactly, you know, like call me. Uh, I was searching for some something spiritual. I had a very hard time. Uh, my grandfather suicided like two or three days before my birthday and like not even a week after that my grandfather died so I spent like two weeks um, in the uh, in a salon so you know like happy birthday yay <laughs> uh, so I was in search for something something more um, I was having a very hard time at school um, so to me it seemed like a good option you know uh parent but in the end christianity did not the whole christian thing didn't exactly appeal to me because um and that's a fact um i didn't like their views on women you know like there is mary but she's you know anyway so, no, their views on women and everything, it just didn't, just didn't cope with me. But I love to be in nature, and I remember my mom had a chalet. Uh, I used to, we used to go there a lot, and um, I have some of my fondest memories there. Like, totally lost in the woods, like, the closest neighbor was Halloween. I had so much fun. Um... And I remember seeing some animals and everything, so that really, I really love that. Uh, I kept searching after that. Um, I took like catechism books, uh, Buddhism, Taoism, Hinduism, anything ism. I read about it, or almost. Um, and nothing really, you know, like caught me. Uh, then one day I was uh, uh, well the way it works is that every week we went to the restaurant like me, my mom and my stepdad. We go to the restaurant. My parents are different. So go to the restaurant because it was this huge special and spaghetti and um, so we go there but they never really paid attention to me for like talking about business so usually I read or I draw or anything and uh, one day we stopped at a um, I don't know the English word for that it's cats running um, <coughs> um, well like a bookstore plus convenience store plus a lot of stuff. I'm not sure of the word, but my mom got herself a pack of cigarettes, and I was looking at the books, looking for something to get, um, and I fell on a book from uh, Eric Sper Eric Pierre Sperandio. Got it. Um, I took the book. I got it, and I like the fact that I could use witchcraft to. Um, you know, like, help me and, um, give me some control over my own life and, you know, just enlighten me. Um, after that I kept, uh, roaming and at the school library I found that book about, uh, Wicca from Scott Cunningham, um, Solitary, which by Scott Cunningham the French edition, of course, um, and that really called to me, but then again, there was a little something missing, so I just kept searching, but one thing has always been very clear to me is that, cats keep running, um, if Canada is my birthplace, my soul belongs to Egypt, so to me, the Egyptian pantheon, pantheon was my, um, it was obvious if I had to turn towards a pantheon, it would be them. So, 
that was pretty obvious. And uh, as for dark paganism, um, I was browsing eBay at some point and I found this book. Just a quick second. Book, book, Godcraft by Raven Digitalis. And it was the very first book on dark paganism that I got. And it was like a revelation. Like, you know, the huge orange arrow flashing. That was it. So, yeah, that's pretty much me. Um, so, it took quite a while before I was able to find that. But once I found um, the dark path, you might say the dark paganism path, um, it became easy and it was, sorry, it was um, natural and it feels more natural to me. Um, I am a very night person. I love to go out at night, right, my favorite times. And uh, I think that reflects a lot in my practice. Kitties keep running. Um, sorry, it's like 2 something a.m. and the cats are just throwing this up on the walls right now. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's a little about me. There, computer. Um, so now that's about that. So the next video is going to be about um, how I found, how I came to the Egyptian pantheon and my matron gods and goddesses. So until then, Dark blessings and uh, see you later.